Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Drool Waves 2 is Japan, episode number 47. Returning to the correct order, the last episode I did was actually 45, <laughs> since we had that mix-up. I loaded back in today to do this recording, and I was like, why is my tension with Great Britain at 6? I thought I was just about at war. And then when I remembered and I loaded the proper game, because I had to delete the last game since it was out of the timeline, and reload my end of 46 one, I was also very shocked to see, oh my god, it's actually over the war limit, so we're definitely going to war. I thought that the war limit was, tw I thought this was 12, the line, maybe the line is 11. Uh, okay, so whatever the, basically we just need to, you know, concede that we're going to war next month. Probably. I don't know, there has been some rare situations. I don't know what happens first, tensions adjust and then war is declared, or war is declared based on previous month tensions. Depends on how the, you know, the order works. So I've, I've had some situations where I was at the brink and it came back down. Doesn't happen very often, but especially with Intel effort on high, I'm pretty sure this is, <laughs> this is final. But the good news is we have a lot of our ships back up to good crew quality. The bad news is we have a lot of ships that are not up to good crew quality, uh, including some of our battleships, but those are the ones in Northeast Asia anyway. Um, all but one of our Daigojis, the namesake herself being the exception. Oh, one of them is in poor shape. Yikes. I still think we're going to, I mean, look, at I, I, I'm I, expecting, I'm fully expecting a surprise attack. And if it doesn't happen, we're reloading, damn it. Even though I now reserve the right to declare war on Great Britain immediately after this. So it all worked in my head. I was like, okay, we don't get the chance to use my, my Trump card. Uh, Trump card in the card playing sense not the president of the united states sense <laughs> it's funny you have to make that distinguishment now uh differentiation i should say um yeah whatever i mean we're going to war anyway so i'm sure that's going to do it you got to be kidding me we didn't get a surprise attack all right people hold on to your horses <laughs> we're gonna... we're going <laughs> We're going to reload the game. I'm, I'm going to just do one more month, just in case. Just in case. Maybe it's going to happen next month. Yeah? Oh, okay, our full plane scout. I mean, this is... I don't know if this is going to be relevant at all. This one looks like the best. Yeah, in every way the best. No, okay, in almost every way. It's less firepower, less maneuver, whatever. But those are not the things I'm really interested in. This is. So this is a good one. And we'll actually get to see... Oh, yeah. So this is not, <laughs> this is not at all... I'll see you back in a second. Oh, hello there. <laughs> We're not at war anymore. So I wonder what gets you to, to trigger a surprise attack. We certainly have carriers, we have destroyers, we have everything in this sea zone. There's definitely enemy ports. What? What do you need to do? Okay, this is already a different timeline than the first three, what, yeah, three minutes of the video. Um, we'll allow it. Okay. Are you kidding me? Well, apparently this is going to happen no matter what. We got torpedo technology. Now, don't hold on to any of this. <laughs> we are going to get a lot of statistical samples for the floatplane scout. And th these are far worse. You got to be kidding me. What the hell is going Okay, see you back in a second. Why, hello there. Is there anything I can do to maybe make things better? To improve my chances? Southeast Asia has good, yeah, we have, oh, that's not destroyers. Yeah, but we definitely have, we have elite, fair, and good in that sea zone. These ships are ready to go. That's the interesting, the, all the different timelines. I feel like I feel like <laughs> Groundhog's Day. OK. 
Okay. You got to be kidding me. Oh, I mean, at least we got to look at these. I really wish I had stuck with the first ones. Those were 150 to, oh, this one's got decent range. Pretty interesting to see all the statistical, I, I'm like actually enjoying this from the perspective that we got to see the flow plane scouts constantly being redesigned. And the good news is, <laughs> well, actually it's bad news. I mean, the good news is the max speed and the cruise speed all, appear to be all faster, but the range for some reason, not even on the other one was better than this one. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? I don't think this is gonna stick, so. Yeah, we would definitely take that. This would become our new dive bomber. It's it's basically better in every way. Ooh, I take it back. Despite having a light bomb load, where the other one does not, it carries less for its heavy bomb load, and that's not good. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Here we go again. They say we're young and we don't know. I probably do a better Bill, Bill Murray uh, <laughs> than I do a, a share. <laughs> anyway, here we are. There's, I gotta find something. I have to find my love in this Groundhog's Day timeline to break the cycle. What is it going to be? What could it be? What could be, what if I move these, let's move these into Southeast Asia as well. So just so you can see what I'm doing. Um, air groups, activate them all, we did. Okay, shoot. Um, more destroyers are going down there. Okay, that's looks good to, oh yeah, well, that's still fine, let's do it. Okay, come on, we're not at war, what the, <laughs> in this timeline things are just bizarre, this is crazy bizarre, <laughs> we're not at war, it can happen, it's, it's, I, please tell me I wasn't just, that was in the very first part, right, okay, so there's hope, I think this is the biggest hope we have, in fact, I'm, don't mind me, I'm actually going to save, so this is, to me, it seems like the best opportunity to get the surprise attack? Um, yes. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, these are garbage. <laughs> these are just garbage. <laughs> oh, Lord, these are garbage. You gotta be kidding me. I can't, I mean... Speed is important, but they don't even have that much higher of a cruise speed, and the range is just terrible. It's just terrible. Okay, well, you know, you take some things that you, you, you... We didn't get a surprise attack! But Shanghai is under our control, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to live in a world where we don't have a surprise attack. Which, look, it pains me. It definitely pains me, but let's just get a... Let's get a jump start on our own invasion, then just very unfortunate um, let's stick with Hong Kong first I think that makes the most sense I'm pretty sure that's well within our range um, we are looking not quite over the 3 to 1 ratio we need we have a presence here of 6 points they have a huge presence here of 97 okay so we need to divert some forces to the South Pacific. And now I'm feeling like this is World War II Pacific Theater operations. This is awesome. How do we want to distribute our forces? And they might react by moving their ships places. I don't know how it works if combat is decided based on some random combination of combination of where your ships were or where they're going to be, or if it's always determined based on where they will be after you end the turn, they move and then combat is decided. I think it goes that way. I think so. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen evidence of that in battles, but I, I have seen evidence of whatever it is. I just don't remember what the evidence points to at this moment. It just I guess it's never been important enough, and probably it still isn't important enough for me to really consider. We just want to get in the fight. 
but we want our fight to be with the red people. Right, so how are they, most importantly, how are they doing in Northeast Asia? They, there's no presence there. Okay, so we leave the Puran Soko. This is her role anyway. We take you guys, we move you into the Southeast Asia theater. Um, that's going to create a huge amount of forces there. We take our Myobus and we put them onto trade protection. That's what their goal was was to be on trade protection. We also take our Kushinas, put them on trade protection. That still counts for points, by the way, against invasions. So that's fine. We'll just prevent raiding, any raiding in Northeast Asia. Go down to our Samamaru's and all the rest of these are down to trade protection as well. Our um, destroyers, including the Ayanamis and the new ones coming out, but these are also pretty good for ASW. These will all be on active fleet duty, hopefully preventing any incidents with enemy submarines. We'll go to Unrestricted Warfare. We have some good submarines operating. I mean, we don't have as many as I as I have for previous wars, but 46, that could be useful with unrest Unrestricted. This is about the time when the submarine shines, the 1930s. I mean, I'm trying to take off the 80% tech, you know, slow down research, but basically we're at the point where around, we should be more or less where submarines would be just shy of 1930. So, you know, just basically take 80% of this, four-fifths. It's pretty easy, 28. So um, that's, that's, in my opinion, I think that's like the heyday for your submarine operations. So all that is good. We're going to have a lot of ships in Southeast Asia, but we have a lot of bases there, so I think we shouldn't be over, hopefully are not overloading it. Kushinos, trade protection. Chanchamarus are coming down as well. Um, Senoyaris are already there. Good. All of our carriers are there. No, they are not. No, they are not. But we're moving them. We're bringing them down. How are their air groups? I'm a little nervous. How are you guys doing? 95, 99, 93. This is still not bad, but they have poor experience. Well, I still think that... Like, how, how does that stack up against the tsunamis have good experience? Oh, my gosh. Well, we could leave them another month, but, you know, there's no training, like, trial by fire, I've been told. I'd never go for that myself, but... We'll leave these very weak destroyers hanging out in Northeast Asia. And you know what? Honestly, the rest of our destroyers are already deployed where probably I want them. We have a whole bunch of these lighter destroyers, but that's perfect. I still want something down in the South Pacific, and that's exactly something. Now, we're going to want to shift some more forces to Southeast Asia. I don't... What, what's their carrier, looking, carrier loadout looking like? One light carrier... Okay, so that's interesting. We could we could actually move our light carriers down, our two light carriers, which should be... I mean, both of them should be more than a match for one of their light carriers, because I have what I, I mean, I more or less have the best light carrier you can have. Not necessarily with like dual purpose armament and all that, but just by the fact that we have the maximum number of aircraft and our aircraft loadout is decent. So we should be able to go, I mean, two to one, basically, even if they had another of my Kuhn class, uh, which they don't. I don't know what they have for a light carrier over there, but just assuming it's as good as mine, we should be, well, we can easily two to one it. So the question is, will 24 knots of speed be enough to get away from whatever else they might have there? Because I don't know. It's kind of an interesting dynamic, but if we bring our he if we bring our full fleet carriers down, I don't think we need our light carriers operating in the area. So I'm going to make kind of an interesting call. I'm, I'm going to move these to the Southeast Asia. And this is kind of, I mean, not Southeast Asia. I'm going to move them to the South Pacific. So we're going to have to move something more to help them. Because right now it's just a bunch of older destroyers. And then... Yeah, I think I'll move both of these. How many do we have right now? We have not, only nine destroyers. If I take these away. Yeah. Man, we I feel like we're really light on the destroyers. It doesn't 
speak that way? 22. Okay, probably I've left too many in Northeast Asia then. I mean, they must be somewhere. Okay, let's just do the math. We have five here, and we have 22. That means there's 17 else. We have six here. That means that we have 11 in Southeast Asia. Well, there you go. There's the math, plain and simple. So yeah, I'm gonna move these two, which will mean a total of eight and then nine. Yeah, that feels a bit light, but I think that's still the right way to go. We'll have, we'll be a little bit more destroyer heavy in the South Pacific, but at least it'll be more escorts for our light carriers. I think those are really good light carriers. I still prefer not to lose them. And uh, if we if we actually get past that month, we'll probably move the tsunamis to South Pacific directly. And then we'll have carriers with destroyer escorts by themselves. That's a really scary concept. I wonder if we ought to just move... These are actually the perfect... The Myobus are the perfect escorts, besides the fact that they didn't they don't have dual purpose guns, yikes. But no, I mean, the carriers can take care of themselves from that perspective. We basically need something which, these are as fast as my light carriers, so that means they're not necessarily a good fitting for the tsunamis. Yeah, hmm, yeah, man, this is tough. The tsunamis would probably pair best with the Chun Chun Marus, so those will probably be what we, we um, push into South, the South Pacific. Those have to wait another month anyway, so we'll do that next month. Okay, so I'm I'm kind of like building up the tension in my own head. I haven't, it was not theater. There was not intentional building up of drama or excitement, you know, towards the climax, which is pushing the end turn, because I'm pretty sure we're going to get into a big battle. But let's find out. But that was just all me trying to map out all the different scenarios, prepare for them um, for two months, even though... <laughs> I think that the big fight may happen this month. Okay, there's the torpedo technology. Not particularly successful submarine, I mean, uh, AS, or submarine activity. Italy's doing something. And we had, okay, so despite all my building up and then thinking that all that building up would just be immediately pushed into a, a <laughs> an end of month battle, it didn't work out that way. So now we have our two carriers, two light carriers and eight destroyers down in the South Pacific. I just, I think that works. I think that works. They're slow, but I don't think the battle generator really cares about that. Otherwise we just have no business doing what we've done. <laughs> so now what we do is we swap the light carriers back or do we leave the light carriers there? You know what? I think I leave the light carriers there. How's the, how are the air groups? They're still poor experience, so we need them to keep training like madmen. I don't think we ever got... Did we ever get a um, an option to pick whether or not our we're going to be doing the rescues? Did they... Maybe he, um, Frederick trained the. Maybe the Rule the Waves developer changed it from an option just to a technology. That that may have happened. Like I might. I have this this like kind of fuzzy feeling that that is what happened, which would make sense too. I think it'd be fine. Um, how are we doing on the issues here? Fire control. We still want AA, and I think that comes from AA here, um, the AA directors, but it could it possibly come from fire control? It would make a whole lot of sense if it did, but it also would make sense if it came from AA. Subdivisions, how are we doing here? How many technologies have we researched? 14, we might actually be close to, we, we haven't gotten torpedo protection four, but we might be close to the end for subdivision um, and all that. We certainly would like torpedo production for but I mean on at this point we've we've, we've built all the big ships we're going to so I'm going to put that down to low this one I still think is important uh, although we've researched 18 yeah and on ship design advanced weight seems we must be pretty close to the end of for these as well 
I guess that's why I had him on medium. Diving shells, dual purpose guns as main armament for DD. It's fine. Uh, torpedo technology, we're using the oxygen fuel torpedoes. Submarines, we're probably not going to push forward on those much more. ASW technology, I do think that that should stay on high. We want to stay ahead of the game. I honestly think we should get better explosive shells then, try to do more damage per hit. Fleet tactics, I've never really seen a benefit to some of these things. Uh, this one we need to put up to high. Low, high, 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 and high. Okay, and naval guns, do we need things on high? Yeah, I guess so. We have quality one 15 inch guns. What are the Daigoji? 16, I think? Yeah, 16. Hmm. Okay, well, just kind of reviewing things. Again, unnecessarily creating more tension before we hit end turn. Convoy attack. Well, we're definitely going to accept, but... Attack enemy ships near the objective. Some f ships from Italy. This is my favorite thing because you just send those ships immediately to their death. Yeah, this is a convoy attack. I beg your pardon, I do not see any ships from Italy. Have they started to name their ships Japanese names? What the hell is going on? Is this, is this bugged? So weird. Wait, is this it? Is this the... Ah! <laughs> it gave us a single... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, good sir. Thank you for your one old destroyer. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. A thousand times thank you. All right, well, in you go, lad, in, in you go. What do you have on you? Four torpedoes, well, you would never have made it in the Japanese Navy. <laughs> but that's fine, we will take advantage of your skills as best as we can. Good luck. Um, I also don't want to be launching torpedoes at destroyers. They can hit. So, I, I mean, even if we were to get hit, I wouldn't mind. I would be, I would be happy with that. So I'm trying to do two things here. I want to try to see if the fleet is where these destroyers are coming from. We should probably get everyone up to squad max. At least more or less squad max. Okay, we have landed our first hit after our Italian friends have taken a, a beating, and you, by the way, can launch your torpedoes whenever you'd like. I have no special exceptions for you. Now we see who runs into who first. Quite a pickle they have us in. Hmm. Oh boy. They might have turned away. Hmm. 
Hmm. Don't know where these guys would be. We have to sync the transports in order to get credit for this. I'd rather not start off the war with a defeat. We probably could, I mean, we could have just very, very easily just steamed right by the convoy because visibility is just so poor. It is... October, so we're not expecting particularly good light, but nor particularly bad. It on the bad end, I guess, for it's practically November. Who has to clean grates? Are you kidding me? Oh, maybe my ships? <laughs> I I'm guessing that the destroyers let me speak my mind here instead of just keeping my thoughts inside. I sent one up here because it was around uh, the objective marker, but I'm guessing the destroyers came from the area where the transports were. And I'm really just waiting for daytime, and it, daytime's not coming. Ugh. So we're just going to have to get extremely lucky, or more than likely, they're just going to escape. Man, okay, so I, I, they were closer to the objective. That's unfortunate because it means a victory for Great Britain just because they happened to randomly roll the transport defense instead of the attack. <laughs> Would have been very difficult for anybody to, to win that mission, I think. Oh, okay, Finland declared independence. We're actually looking at the invasion, though. That's good to see. And we're doing something. Okay. So this is probably where we have our big exchange, then. We take our tsunamis. We move them into the big area. South Pacific. And we let our Chun Chun Marus go with them. Big decision. Splitting our... We're splitting our carriers up. But isn't that a cool thing? Getting to make these decisions? Well, I guess not quite as cool as it would be if we controlled fleets. That would be really cool. We're just moving into a different sea zone, but it's kind of arbitrary. We're not saying, like, in, in my head, they're different fleets now, but for the battle generator's purposes, we could just as easily be moving one carrier, I mean, the two carriers from here and there, like from Taiwan and somewhere in the far reaches of the DEI, and we could move those together over to two different random places in the South Pacific. Or, I mean, the way I was thinking about it, we'd move two of the five that are all sailing together. And the, yeah, so, but with the battle generator, it doesn't work that way. You can't put ships together or not. So it's just it's all very arbitrary, and I, not it doesn't always. I'm not always pleased by that. I've made no uh, secret of that, though, so <laughs> I don't really need to harp on it. Trade production's looking good. We have three to one, which is exactly where I like to be. Three to one. How many submarines are we dealing with? I don't think the British have that many. Yeah, they only have fifteen, so we're not we're not in a bad situation for. ASW anyway. <clears throat> the trade protection we're going to be doing more of is really stopping their raiders. And we do have two ships doing that right now. Or not just two, we have four. Two heavy cruisers. I'm thinking maybe we should move these Myobus down to Southeast Asia. Have the Kushinas protect up there. Which one am I more confident in their success. So I think that these may be pitted up against battlecruisers. Although they are definitely much better against light cruisers. 
and they're not going to necessarily be good against heavy cruisers. So I guess from that perspective, we should move the Kushinos. <laughs> the ancient <laughs> 1899 Kushinos, which are still, in my opinion, functional. Uh, they have not had a refit in a while. <laughs> They're still using director guns. Uh, we'll leave everybody up in Northeast Asia. How about that? Okay, this is their dive bomber. Top speed of 199 is extremely fast. And combat radius of 229. That's also very good. Everybody's Shanghai. Oh, it, uh, we have an airbase there. Okay. Um, you gave me such a garbage float plane, and now you give me another garbage float plane. Damn it, anyhow. Damn it, anyhow. Cancel. Okay, two months of bad weather, but, you know, it's, that time, it's the time of the year. We sank a destroyer. Okay. 12... So this is what I'm trying to do, stop these, but yeah, they're in Southeast Asia. They're with light cruisers, so I think, I think I'm gonna do it. Let's just go ahead and move the, let's make sure, are the British yet in Northeast Asia? No, so let's do it. Let's move the two we have here to do their trade protection down in Southeast Asia. We might get lucky. We might get very unlucky, but I'm just gonna let it happen. Supposedly in the newer patches, things are more tonnage based than class based. That's for invasion, or that's not for invasions, that's for blockade, but maybe, okay, it's probably only for blockade. I'm being optimistic. I don't think he revamped the entire system, but he might have. I'm happy with our distribution of forces right now. I really hate to do this, but I do want to sort by location momentarily. Let's see who's where. So in Northeast Asia, we have our battleship, two light cruisers that are on trade protection, and then we have some old Akakazi and Yukazis, uh, which will be the escorts for the Otago. Seems good. Go. Down to the South Pacific, we have 14 total ships, two light cruisers, two Chuncha I actually have to go back to the Chuncha Maru as soon as it's being done being repaired. It was in, in the dock with um, problems. So two light cruisers, um, what was it, eight? Yeah, eight destroyers, and then four carriers. It's pretty top heavy. But there's, I mean, two carriers and two, two fleet carriers, two light carriers. Then Southeast Asia, this is where, you know, the money maker. It's where we have, you know what? Why don't I, oh, these are all 23 knots. So it's actually perfectly safe to have these all in the same fleet. And I probably want to keep them all in the same fleet so we don't get a huge battle with only my Gachamuchis. I do like this, in fact. The only thing I could put, do I want to? How are we doing on dual purpose guns for these? They do have pretty sizable dual purpose guns. I think I'm gonna move my Ashigaras into the South Pacific because they are perfectly equipped to avoid battles if we need them to. So let's do that just to prevent being dominated in the South Pacific. Just to keep the British honest is the main thing. Just keep them honest. And you are still not ready, so one more month. Okay, let's go back to type. I think it's going to sort second by location now, which will be a little bit messed up. But, uh, you know, it's I'm sorting classes. I'm sorting my ships into different locations by class anyway, so it shouldn't matter if it sorts by class or location. <laughs> should put all the classes together anyway. Okay, so next. Fleet invasion, okay. Just after we move our Ashikars out, of course. But we'll take it. Hmm. Okay, time of day is midnight. Um, this is interesting. I think this is their invasion. It, it is their invasion. We're in 
God's name are they invading? We don't have to worry about you. No, we don't have to worry about you. We don't have to worry about you. Not sure why all these batteries are so far off. How are, what's your invasion target? Is there a, no, I don't see any. Okay, well this is a really interesting. This is not my invasion, this is the enemy's invasion. Now, important, we have to set up our scout. I'm probably gonna leave this scouting exactly the way it is. We'll go to maximum cap. And I will leave it just the way it is. We will do, with the one exception of bringing the range, the distance down to, you know, it's the, I think this is beyond the maximum range of my float planes already, but we'll do 180. That'll um, return them faster. We also probably should take a moment. I mean, I'm happy for once I'm not rushing through this. I do want to take the time to get my torpedo bombers set up with torpedoes. These are naval striking with torpedo load. That's perfect. So ready to strike. All heavy, I'll strike. I don't know what these buttons do. Not, not really. I'm pretty sure naval strike but these are somewhat redundant or overlapping. This is heavy load, and this is airstrike, I mean naval strike with what though? And no pop-up, unfortunately. Although that's not really too surprising, but okay. let us I didn't check, by the way, I should have checked. 13, 16, that looks good. 17, 15, that looks good. I think it, um, Frederick has actually done some fixing on this used to be that you'd be selecting a number different than, this number would be different than this. It's nice to see that it does appear to actually default to the correct thing. Um, load, no, 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 uh, we'll have you go on a heavy load. Take the biggest damn bombs you can. Okay, that's three. Ready those strikes. I'm gonna let the destroyers I mean, sorry, the fighters do their own thing. We're going to go in unescorted. I don't think that's ideal, but it's going to allow my fighters to choose to do cap without interference from me, you know, possibly accidentally assigning them a potential cap fighters to an escort mission. We have control right away, which is a bit scary. It was just, I was extremely nervous that we were going to get uh, <laughs> a sighting right away we did not and for that much at least I'm thankful I'm pretty sure they are off to the east southeast we if we wanted could play this a bit safe by just moving okay we actually sh have to unfortunately we got to move back that way because into the wind is going to take us into the enemy my absolute nightmare scenario oh boy and uh, did they group by class yes hooray now, unfortunately, none of these ships are fast, so it's not like it's not like we can really scout with any of them. But we gotta get quickly out of the way. I think I'll just use the island as a barrier. Okay, we're just gonna wait and midnight. That's a lot of hours to wait, but I don't want to run into them right away. In fact, what I could do, pause. I could ship off one group of destroyers. Here we go. You guys are gonna be the sacrificial lamb. You're gonna head that way and, you know, maybe you'll find something, maybe not. So we're kinda of headed this way, right? Yeah, things are getting a little bit busier here now. 
Unready? Ready? Unready? Oh, this is two extras that have now been prepared, I guess. Well, our sh well, we could actually do it. Wait, are we able to 32, 45? We're actually able to launch all our torpedo bombers and dive bombers at the same time. That's amazing. 34, maybe not this one, 34, 30. Yep, we are. We're too shy of the limit. Oh, wait, okay. Wait, no, that's 19. Yeah, we're good again. 30, uh, that's 46. That's interesting. We could, I don't think we can do coordinated strikes yet, but. My battleships, I forgot, have my float planes. <laughs> Send my carriers off this way. I mean, my destroyers off this way anyway. I mean, the most exciting thing is just the fact that we are going to have to pause the video and <laughs> pick this up in another in the next video cliffhanger why are you guys why are they choosing this weird formation are they going to correct it no it's like that they're doing turn together but turn together is not selected I, I mean, I do want them to do screen. I want to cover the most amount of area I can. Well, I'm going to move them a little bit back now. I don't know where the invasion target is, but it's probably up here. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll get these guys across. We'll get these guys to the north. Something like that. And I'm not. I'm actually going to leave my carriers unescorted. That's probably not the wisest idea, but I really don't want them to get into battle. I'm hoping that they don't. They're fast enough. No, not really, but hopefully they'll be fast enough if it comes down to it to avoid a confrontation. We'll get these guys to my main battleship group. Set you. Nope, you changed your mind. I don't want you to change your mind, please. Go to the other ones then. Did you stick? Oh, man. Maybe I have to do it this way. What about support? Will you support them? I think it's stuck. It did. Let's have it. Okay, well, that's fine. And you're online ahead. Okay, that's fine. Just go and do that exactly. Are we getting reports yet? No. And how launch longer? Okay, it's, we're going to be launching our airplanes pretty quickly here. Now, we don't have an airbase anywhere near this. The only good news is, hey, neither do the British. So it's really just up to our carriers. But not really just up to our carriers. Well, obviously, we have our entire battle fleet here. This is like a great situation for us. I'm assuming that our mines are like the friendly mine um, surrounding a port actually prohibits the target from being here. But I have no idea if that's true or not. So you know what I'll do? I'll have my destroyers keep searching to the south while my battleships move up. I'm going to have to separate, I think, my two battleship groups. What are you doing? Are you just... What's your... Technically, you are independent. I don't control you? Wait. Why not? Did I miss a thing where this person lost? I did. There it is. Okay, well, it'll be... It'll be sunny eventually. The stupid thing is, if they lose contact and they re encounter, yes, here we go. Yes, awesome, 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 awesome. Oh, other limits air condition. Oh man, oh that's not good. Our advantage surely lies in the air, and it just went down the drain. Still don't know where they are. Come on, weather. Please don't limit. Please, please, please. Oh. Oh, we're sending them out. So I guess it doesn't limit aircraft enough. Okay. It's starting to launch. 
This is exciting. Are you guys turning into the wind? Not yet. How do you go north now? Just waiting on the results. It's so cool that my battleships are going to control my float planes. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> I, I think I prefer it. I can see places where it's not going to work as well, but for now, I like it. Are you back, by the way? No, not yet. Even though you've been, you're actually in range. <laughs> you're in visual range, but you've lost contact. What a bizarre world. Did it say that they've reestablished contact? No. Oh man, you used to be able to cheese these things, but too bad they fixed that. I mean, it's a big fleet. Are we gonna get reports? They're off, they're definitely off. And we're gonna have to buy time the moment that we actually do find them. Oh, that's a mine, okay, I was like, oh God. Why do we have a report up there? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. This is this is precarious. So the thing is, I don't know where they have to get to for the invasion to be considered an invasion. So I want to kind of try to hug the coast because going too far out. To me, it means it only means that we could miss them. Just gonna keep these guys sailing back and forth. Oh, I saw it. Ciel Moan has reattached. All right. She's back. Good. I am i don't want to end the episode until we have at least a scouting report to tease you with. <coughs> Actually, it's really me. I want, to, I want to see a scouting report, damn it. So far, nothing. We may have to prep some, okay, so. Maybe catapult does not, to, like disregards this. That could be true. I think what we want to do is actually get some, yeah, torpedo bombers. The, these are faster, but they have less range. 208 versus 250. I think the 208 might even be enough. Two, just like that. Thinking we might want to set some people up on some recon missions. I mean, I have, let's get these two to recon. Ready that, sorry, ready. Ready a strike, it shouldn't be, a, it's a recon. So I, I hope that torpedo is not right, but I hope that they're prepping for Recon and not torpedo. <laughs> I think that's how it works. The mission overrides the, the load. I probably should have done light load anyway, just in case. Well, I can do that on the next one. You guys are ready. And then we have some leftovers. Okay. We have three here. That seems like the right amount. Let's get these guys to recon on light load. And ready, strike. And then we'll also take one from the Satori. You guys are not ready. Two more. Yeah, so that'll just give us seven scouts that we can send out as a second wave. Okay, well that seems like it's a good idea. Still nothing though. No reports, and they're coming back.
no reports yet. Now it's not, it's misty. So it's not like it would be easy. Visibility's not great. Oh Lord. Thanks for watching. Catch you back for the next episode. Until then, stay safe and take care.